Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how to convert the given proposition to to the equivalent proposition that contains only the functionally complete set of connectives. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what is meant by functionally complete set of connectives. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So just refresh the concept uh, uh, negation and conjunction we call it as functionally complete set. Uh, similarly one more complete set is there negation and disjunction we call it as functionally complete set. Uh, what's the meaning of that functionally complete set means? You take any proposition that proposition is converted into the form of another proposition which is equivalent to which, is, which contains only this, uh, these connectives negation and conjunction. That is what functionally complete set means. We discussed it in our last class. So coming to this, so how we are going to convert into negation and conjunction? Let's take if you are having P disjunction Q. This can be equivalently written as negation of negation P conjunction negation Q. So disjunction can be converted into conjunction using this De Morgan's law. Similarly, P implies Q can be written as negation P disjunction Q. If you are having disjunction, again convert into conjunction. So, P double implies Q can be written as in the form of implies. P implies Q conjunction, Q implies P. Implies can be converted into disjunction. Disjunction can be converted into conjunction. You follow these steps, you are going to get the output. Let's take an example and understand how we need to convert. This is a bit complex. You need to be very focused about the symbols. So negation of for the entire proposition we are having negation. P double implies for this Q implies R disjunction P. So now we are having double implies. Double implies can be converted into implies. Conjunction implies. So the first step we are taking here is we need to convert this proposition to an equivalent proposition. But that proposition contains only the symbols negation and conjunction only. Convert this to equivalent formula containing conjunction and negation only. The first step is convert this con biconditional into conditional formula. So negation of this is the equation. P double implies this entire equation we call it as Q. This can be written as P implies P implies Q conjunction Q implies P. See watch the brackets carefully that is very very important. This negation contains for the entire equation we are having negation formula. Now P implies this as Q. We can convert this P implies Q to negation P conjunction Q. Similarly, P implies Q can be converted into negation P conjunction Q. Now, now next coming to that. Implies has been converted to disjunction. Few more implies are there here. Q, Q implies R disjunction P. This is X implies Y. X implies Y can be written as negation X disjunction Y. Similarly, here also we are having X implies Y. This can be written as negation X disjunction Y. Now everything is converted into disjunction and negation. In between we are having conjunction. This entire equation is having negation. Now this should be converted into negation and conjunctions. How we are going to convert that? Let's take this negation inside. When you take this negation inside, we, we are taking this entire equation as x, this entire equation as y, in between we are having conjunction. When you take the negation inside by De Morgan's law, negation of this entire equation we have not written here in order to avoid the confusion. Conjunction, negation of this 
entire formula. So negation came inside. Now we have to convert this into apply this negation to this equation, apply this negation to this equation. So when you apply negation inside, negation of negation of negation, negation p, negation of negation p, this is x disjunction, this complete equation we are taking it as y. So negation of negation p conjunction negation of negation q or r or p. So negation of negation p means p conjunction this equation. Again take this negation inside x disjunction y. Negation of negation q conjunction again apply this negation inside negation r conjunction negation p. So finally this entire equation is converted into by taking the negations inside we got this equation. Simple formulas, hoping that you already know from our previous examples, we have done so many examples on uh, uh, De Morgan's law and all those things. Uh, now, the same formula applied, we, this negation should be applied inside. So, negation of, see, the, 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 the negation which we got from here, this is taken inside. Negation of negation, this entire thing, here conjunction is there, disjunction, negation P. So, negation, negation cancel, we remain with this equation, this conjunction, negation P. See here, we are having, in between, we are having disjunction. First, we have to avoid the, this disjunction into conjunction. This entire equation, take it as X. This entire equation, take it as Y. X disjunction Y can be written as, X disjunction Y can be written as, negation of negation X, conjunction negation y. We are applying this here. x disjunction y. Negation of this entire x negation conjunction this entire y negation. See this negation applies to this entire y. Don't get confused that is the important. See Entire equation contains negations and conjunctions. But in this equation, here we are having conjunction and negation, but we have to change this equation. So, simply we are not writing remaining, just to convert this equation, this take it as x, this is x conjunction y. Negation of negation x disjunction, so this is disjunction, x disjunction y x disjunction y means negation of negation x conjunction negation y. So, negation of negation x conjunction negation y. Here we have to write negation. Sorry, we missed the negation here. In, in down we have written the negation. Sorry, this, that's a mistake. Negation of negation x conjunction negation y. So again x x disjunction y can be written as negation of you take the negation outside. So when you get the negation outside negation of negation x conjunction negation y. So outside negation is going to get cancelled this negation is not there. So our equation is negation of Q conjunction, negation R conjunction, negation P. Here also cancel it. So the entire equation which we got here is, a, this is the equation which, so the entire equation is converted into the form of a negation of negation and conjunction. Similarly, we can we can convert this entire equation in the form of a negation and disjunction also. If you want to convert this into negation and disjunction, if you are having conjunction, this is the equation, negation of negation P, conjunction, uh, disjunction, negation Q. If you are having P implies Q, this can be written as negation P or it, uh, disjunction Q. P double implies Q can be written as P implies Q, conjunction, 
Q implies P. Conjunction means again converted into negation of negation P, disjunction negation Q. You take the same equation, try to convert it into the form of a negation and disjunction. You take it as a practice and do it. Hope you understand how to convert this into the complete, functionally complete set of connectives. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.